pandemic, many COVID patients tell us they still just don't feel right. Tonight, Washington University is working to fix that. Look at these stats from the university. Researchers tell us they are finding nearly 50% of COVID patients lose their sense of smell, and it doesn't stop there. WashU researchers say roughly 7% do not get their sense of smell back for three to maybe six months and even sometimes longer. Tonight, first on four, Emma Hogue reports on the university's work to fix the nagging symptom that currently has no cure. And I went, you know, into the bathroom. First thing I checked was my deodorant. I just tried to smell that and there was nothing. I was like, wow, this is, this is weird. This a is sense Bo that. Anderson hasn't regained since he got COVID in early November. Desperate for a solution, the junior at Wash U enrolled in a new smell training trial. I have never not been able to smell. Um, it's something you rely on, you know, in your everyday life. The dark side for me is that I, we don't really have very effective treatment right now, and it's discouraging. Dr. Jay Piccarillo, a WashU professor and researcher, is leading the medical school's 12-week study aimed at not just helping those who can't smell, but others who experience distorted scents after COVID. Chicken or foods don't smell like they're supposed to, and too often they have sort of a rancid or a bad odor associated with it. Patients can also complain of smelling things like burnt rubber or foul odors. They tend to be more foul odors. They're very disturbing to the patients. So here's how it works. The study is all virtual. About 240 participants are assigned to smell four essential oils twice a day. Half the group also has to look at a picture of the scent they're smelling. Then they log their findings in an online portal. The most common scent people want to get back is the smell of smoke. This one I can't really smell, but it's similar to the eucalyptus where it just kind of tingles my nose. The inability to, to smell smoke or smell gas or smell bad food or a mother is concerned about her baby's diaper, you know, those kind of issues that I think we all take for granted. Nearly a year into the pandemic, Dr. Piccarillo says there are still many unknowns. For whom might it work the best? So uh, does duration of smell loss matter? But he's determined to help people like Anderson feel normal again. It, it would be very beneficial to, to be able to find something that, that does cure it. In St. Louis. Yep. That's what motivates my research every day. Emma Hogue, News 4.